Hi, this is John from PortableFreewareGames.com and I'm not here to show you a game. I'm actually here to show you something a bit different. So if you go if you go to your browser and you type in portablefreewaregames.com I want you to choose the software option and it's the second one down in this list, Qubit Tom. I want you to click on that white image and that'll take you to the download page. And you've got a big image from the, the from the application, you've got a description for the application, and you've got two download links for the application. The first one, the one with the image, the download image, that comes straight from our website, and it might not actually be the very latest version, but as soon as you install it and, you up, and it connects to the internet, it'll automatically update to the very latest version. Or alternatively, you can go to the BitTorrent website and download the latest version. Um, it's up to you, it it's, it's, doesn't really make much difference. I'm going to click the, the download link from our website. Save. And this is the file here that you'll download. QBitTorrent.rar It's a .rar file, or a .rar archive to be more accurate. Which means you're going to need a, a certain type of software to open the file up. Like WinZip or WinRAR or 7-Zip is a freeware alternative that I can recommend but I'm just going to open this file up right here now extract here and this is the file that will come out of the RAR archive this is a folder and I double click on that and inside the folder you've got three files you've got a setup file for QBitTorrent which we're just going to use in a minute We've got a tracker list, uh, that's, that's for using if you're going to make your own torrents and distribute them. You'll need that, but I'll talk you through that in a wee while. And also a shortcut back to my website. So let's go through the setup. Yes. English. Next. Accept the terms of the agreement. And here's something here you might want to click to create a desktop shortcut. It doesn't by default create one, so you have to tell it to create one. So I'll just tick that wee box there. And then next, install. And that's it, just going to install. And this is the QBitTorrent shortcut right here, this wee blue circle, the QB written in it. Let's double click this to start the application up. And here we've got a wee, a wee warning, uh, a wee alert saying Python is required to use it for the search engine but it does not seem to be installed. Do you want to install it now? Basically, uh, QBitTorrent has got its own internal search engine but it needs another piece of software for it to run properly. So I'm going to click yes. And here we go. Yes, to install it on the computer. And QBitTorrent will actually download and install the software that it needs. Uh, it'll take a couple of minutes to download and install. And that's Python downloaded and installed. And now we're ready to get going. First of all, if you don't know what a torrent is, a torrent is basically a, a file usually quite a small file, it's nearly always less than one megabyte and it contains me metadata uh, basically download instructions for certain files and how to, collect, uh, how to connect them on a network and download them it sounds more complicated than it really is all you have to do is find a torrent uh, and you're ready to go, you're ready to download now you've got this software before we get started with downloading anything there's a few settings I think you should change on this, you click on this wee cog uh, icon here That'll open up your options. Uh, I'll just start from the top and work my way down. Behaviour, uh, th things like do you want QTorrent to start on Windows Startup? Uh, do you want to show splash screen? This kind of stuff. I'm not really going to change any of them. Downloads, I'm going to change this one here. Uh, say default save path, I'm going to change that to desktop. Desktop, select folder, apply. Uh, that, that means anything that I download through this program is going to get saved to my desktop connection. 
uh, just a, a few settings in here, there's nothing you really want to mess with, to tell you the truth, there's very little that you actually need to change. Uh, well, like all good softwares, it's, it's fairly easy to use, but it's also got some fairly advanced features as well for the more experienced users, but 99% of people that use this application are never going to change any of these settings, and there's just no need. Speed, again, uh, alternate uh, rates and limits, all sorts of download speeds and stuff, no, nothing worth changing. The bit torrent, there's a couple in here I would like to change. Uh, but it says maximum active downloads, I'm going to change that to 10. Um, maximum active torrents, I'm going to change that one to 10. Apply. RSS, you can read RSS feeds and download uh, torrents off of that. That's another setting that I don't think anybody really needs to mess with. Web user interface is basically a remote control. You can control this over the uh, over a, a, a local area network. And again, nobody's really, well, very few people are really going to really use this. And down to advanced, when you get the really advanced settings, all different kinds of things. Listen on IP IPv6. No, nothing there. Nothing there that you really want to change. So let's get started with the downloading. In the top left hand corner here, you've got a tab. With search written on it, click that, and if you go along that, that at the top of the page there, you'll come to three options all categories, only enabled, and then search. And you, when it says all categories, you've got a choice. You can tell the uh, Qubit Torn exactly what you're looking for books, games, movies, music, whatever, or just select all categories. That's what I'm going to use. Uh, and here, when it says only enabled, that's the different uh, search engines that it uses. See, it's got a list of them here. Demonoid is one you might have heard of. The Pirate Bay you probably have heard of. Uh, Torlock. All these different uh, uh, torrent websites. Uh, Qubit Torrent can actually access their search engines and do the search for you. So I'm going to select all plugins here. And now I've got to choose something to download. Now I don't, I don't want to download some copyrighted materials because I don't want this video getting, ba getting banned on YouTube. So I'm only going to download open source materials. Uh, the first one I'm going to go for is a piece of software called OpenOffice. That's it typed in there and then click search. Now OpenOffice is a freeware alternative to Microsoft Office. It's, it's quite a good free option actually. Here we are. As you can see it's, it's showing you how many, how many cedars it has. Now cedar is somebody that has 100% of the file and is sharing that 100% of the file. Whereas Reachers are, are people like yourself that's just in the process of downloading it and they don't have to actually have the full uh, file downloaded yet. So I'm just going to go for uh, and one of the few, very few down points to this piece of software uh, to Qubit Torrent is that a lot of the time it can't tell you how many cedars a, piece of, uh, a file has. As you can see up here They've got 12, 12, 8, 1, uh, and all the rest of them, hundreds of them actually, are all classed as unknown. There's a bit, a bit of lux involved here. So I'm going to click this one here, Apache Open Office 4.14, Windows x86. Okay, so you just down, uh, double click that, and then OK. And you go, go back to the downloads page. As you can see, it started downloading. It's telling you how many seeds it has, how many peers, and a download speed. Uh, usually, it nearly always starts off quite slow, and then builds up momentum and gets faster and faster and faster. Uh, so we'll just leave that downloading right now, and we'll go for something else. Uh, let's search for the uh, I know a film, a film that came out in 2007 called Zeitgeist. And it's, a, it's an open source film. Uh, if you go to their website, they actually encourage you to download it and share it in any way you feel fit. So this is how I'm going to share it. Uh, I'm going to put it in this tutorial video. So Zeitgeist, the movie, I'll click enter. And here we go again.
as you can see 142 of 152 it's 142 uh, visits so far I'm going to click this one here, the second one in fact maybe no I'm going to click that one there, Zeitgeist the movie DVD rip so I'll double click that and then OK and as you can see the transfers has went up to two now, I've got two files in transfer right now and that's the two of them downloading as you can see Zeitgeist is 4.3, 4.4%, 4.5, it's downloading quite quick download speed 1 megabyte so it's, it's, it's quite a good wee speed to be downloading stuff at uh, what I'm going to show you now uh, is another way to get torrent files rather than the, the internal search engine you download them off the internet off your websites I'm just going to take you and introduce you to my favourite torrent website right now Okay. Now, if you live in Britain, uh, you're, you're going to run into these, these ISP bans. Your, your, your internet service provider will ban, ban certain websites. And this website that I use is one of them, as you can see. Access blocked, Soros website 1337x.to is not available through Sky. Uh, basically, my, my broadband provider refuses to get, grant me access to this website that's easily fixed you just go into you click it, uh, type in an, an anonymous.org and you come to this website here when you go to choose between English language and German language I'm going to choose English and you want an uh, anonymous email anonymous www or anonymous news yeah, I just want to go surfing, so it says con continue to free anonymous surfing with anonymous www. Now type in the website. And the website I wanted to get access to is 1337x.to. And here it is here. Uh, as you can see, this is December 2017. I'm making this video and I've got a wee Christmas tree up which is nice uh, and this is my favourite torrent website right now uh, let's have a look see it gets updated uh, just every every couple of hours there's stuff added all the time uh, so let's just let, let's, let's have a look and see how many we can get for open the software that was down on, downloading the Qubit torrent open office let's see what we can get with that no, none What about Zeitgeist? I've got a few here, aye. Yeah, there's a few there. Zeitgeist Addendum, that was part two. Yeah, but I'm, I'm downloading part one right now. Uh, but aye, it's, it's a great wee website, that's how you access it. Remember, Anonymous. Anonymous.org is the website that will help you access any blocked websites by your ISP provider, your internet service provider. And now we're back looking at my downloads. And as you can see, the two of them are downloading quite nicely. Apache Open Office is at 21.7%, and the Zeitgeist is at 24.2%. At the far, end, far right hand side of this program, it will give you an ETA, an estimated time of arrival. The reckons Apache will open office will be downloaded in 36 minutes and Zeitgeist the movie will be downloaded in 28 minutes so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to create a torrent and how to share that torrent so if you minimise Qubit torrent and you go back to that folder that you downloaded from our website Qubit torrent, open it up open up tracker list and I want you to highlight and copy all of the information on that list and I want you to go back to Qubit Taunt you go to Tools 
torrent creator. Uh, you have to select a file, you can select any file you've got on your computer to share. Uh, I've got one on my desktop called Flubo Poyo. It's a game. Double click that. Now, when it says tracker URLs, that's where you're going to post your information. So, click paste. Just check they're all there. They're all there. Web seed URLs. Uh, this is for if you've got the file stored on a server uh, on the internet and you want to share it. Uh, I, I don't have that, so I'm not going to bother. The uh, comments, you can write comments to go along with your, your torrent. Well, now it's just ready to create torrent. Create torrent. Where do you want to save it about? Desktop. Okay, as you can see it's added itself to my download list, it's seeding it, it's sharing it, but it's not sharing it with anybody uh, because I haven't uploaded it yet. Then it's there, that wee, that wee file with the QB written on it, it's got the QB on it because uh, QBit torrent is the file that, that, that works with torrents. Uh, and all you have to do now is set up an account with a torrent website just like the one I just showed you. That, uh, at 1337x.to the website's like that and, and you post it and you put information, you can put screenshots and that, any information you like and people will download it and share it across the internet and it's quite a, an easy thing to do, it's quite quite a, a wonderful wee thing so that's about it, that's about all I've got to tell you uh, like I say this is just a mini tutorial it's not an in-depth tutorial uh, the reason for that being 99% of people We'll never use any of the, the advanced features of this piece of software. And one thing that I have to tell you about seeding torrents, if you're going to create your own torrents and, and share them, is that you have to keep the file in the same place in your computer. Like this one here, Flubo Pool, is the, the game that I'm sharing right now. And it's on my desktop. I can move it around the desktop if I like, because in the computer language, it's still the desktop. What I can't do is I can't put it inside another, a folder or somewhere else on the computer because the torrent program won't be able to find it and also you can't change the name of any file that you're downloading if you want to change the name you have to re recreate a, another torrent and share it all over again so don't move it and don't change its name and you'll do just fine so I hope you download this application I hope you have a lot of fun downloading some cool stuff for this application uh, I hope you subscribe and thanks for watching